also there's this dangerous and the fear part because with the black it symbolizes something else it becomes political it's not a spiritual sentence anymore it becomes a political message so the idea of this work of smell was at that time you know if people know the, the, the flag of the Salafists, it's the Shahada, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, written on the black flag. And um, I wanted to represent that, but also for every Muslim, like this is the most important sentence. And there's so much blissfulness and beauty to it and all of it, we all like identify with it. So I wanted to write it, of course, for something that's also beautiful, the jasmine, uh, with the smell and everything in respect to what it represents. But also there's this dangerous and the fear part because with the black, it symbolizes something else. It becomes political. It's not a spiritual sentence anymore. It becomes a political message. And the jasmine also brings us to this. In the beginning, the Tunisian revolution was called as jasmine revolution. And the idea was about a stolen revolution. You know, it was in the beginning, not religious at all. Really, there was no let Allahu Akbar uh, uh, cried or said. It was only about dignity, about uh, democracy. These were the movement of the youth. And then it was like as if it's a stolen revolution. So the idea was that the shahed is written with the jasmine. The first days you, sm you see this, the smell. And the slowly, it's with the time it starts to fade away, and there's only dark um, this uh, black that stays. And so in the museum, it is uh, the Carthage Museum in Tunis, archaeological actually museum, which uh, at that time, Timo, my husband, made an in exhibition of contemporary art with another curator, uh, Khadija Hamdi. Together they made this exhibition of contemporary art and my work was part of it. Anyways, so the guardian of the museum is Muhafid. His name is Hafid and he, was, he openly says, I'm a Salafist. But this is the kind of Salafist, like I would have never said, because you know, I have also all of my cliches and ideas of you know violent people, aggressive, they want you to think like them, because it's not like he's not saying I am a practical Muslim, I am Salafist. It means really something, you know, it's not an innocent term. Any. But this was like such a peaceful guy in his corner, not uh, harming anyone, the opposite, Yani. And he really enjoyed very much the exhibition and the, uh, the, the, uh, the archaeology have a lot of uh, sanam, you know, so it's like the sculptures and things that are in contradiction with his beliefs, supposedly. So one day I was just working around and asking, so what is your favorite artwork? And he told me that one, my smell. I don't, did you understand what this work is about? He said, I did, I don't know. I understand it the way I understand it. That's the most sacred expression for me. And I love that it is represented with flowers. And yeah, I'm very attached to it. So uh, he said, do you know what's going to happen to it after the exhibition? I told him there are no plans, but yeah, it's my work. And he said, he asked me, can I have it? Can I keep it? I was like, sure, but you know, the flowers will fade away. So it's like, it is a process will work. It's not meant to stay. He said, don't worry. Every day I will be stitching a new jasmine and fill. I don't know if you know the fill, it's even also yeah, of course. from the more beautiful smell. I was like so touched and I, of course, offered it to him. And I was like, you know, this guy who's supposedly Salafist, he is Salafist, calls himself, but not jihadist, so spiritual Salafist. And he's going to be restoring all of his life, a contemporary artwork. All of it is going to be, the, and it is for him a spiritual activity. So wow. this piece, yeah, it's like a really big wow. For me, first of all, it's like, psh, psh, stop judging people. There is no whatever struck. You have been suffering from people putting you into boxes and now you did the same thing. And also it's like, what, how you mix belief and spirituality and contemporary art and actuality and politics. It was one of my biggest lessons of my life, actually, this conversation and offering this, giving him this offering.